guys, it's me, Sydney. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, you guys part of the Fit Fam. If you guys have been here for a long time and you guys are an OG, hey, welcome to another year. It is officially 2018. If you guys are just now joining me or you guys just recently like found my channel, hey, I can't wait to take on this next year with you guys. Um, with that being said, we're gonna be doing my goals for 2018, a little bit of an update and a little bit of like a recap. So first I want to talk a little bit about 2017 and like what I accomplished there and like what I realized going into 2018. So for 2017, I went into it thinking that I was going to prep for a show. I never went through with the show prep and a lot of you guys are like, Sydney, when are you going to prep for a show? And I realized I wasn't ready and I needed my, I needed to be mentally ready for that and I'm not. And like show competition isn't for everyone and I'm not a competitive person besides it being like competitive towards just me. So, with that being said, I am just going to be bulking for the beginning of the year until I get fed up with bulking and then I want to cut because that sounds really bad, but like you hit a breaking point like I did originally on my weight loss journey and I realized I wanted to like lose weight and like I just want to be able to like be like super strong, you know? Throughout 2018, I'm going to measure the width of my shoulders and by the time I finish my cut, I want to be a solid two inches on the whole width. Um, bigger on my shoulders and then on my lats as well when I'm doing a lat spread so those are my goals like for muscle mass gain and then for weight loss I want to hit 170 ish right now I'm at 197 so I want to lose a good 27 pounds and I think I can do it I know I can do it because my stage weight should be like 160 so like 170 is like 10 pounds higher than that and that's not that bad but that's just by the end of 2018 other things though i just want to be happy i want to be content and i want to just go with the flow because i feel like once it becomes a lifestyle like in the beginning of your journey one thing that i realized is that like in 2015 when i when i was like doing all of this i was doing it because i had hit my breaking point i was doing a little bit more of like the extreme things but now it's more of a lifestyle so it's like i have to take it slow and i have to like do different things like I can't go super extreme but with that being said I'm gonna be talking a lot more about my weight loss journey um, and like helping you guys lose weight I'll be posting most likely five times a week that's like my goal I'm an ASU student so I want to get good grades some of the other health goals that I have are kind of related to the fact that like I didn't fall off the wagon this past year whatsoever but like being in college I had to find a balance and uh, two things that I really one thing I did find the balance with but then over break I kind of like fell off track was drinking a gallon of water a day I want to continue doing that and if you guys don't have that on your resolutions like maybe add that on there and then get back into meal prepping because I honestly have not meal prepped in so long just because college you just don't meal prep I didn't have any motivation to meal prep over break and like I, I eat if it fits my macros but I really want to get back into the whole like meal prepping and just like understanding how to weigh my food because that's really helpful I just want to get back into meal prepping though because I feel better um, and I eat out less when I meal prep. So the next thing though is in February I'm going to be putting out my first motivational program. It's a web series that you guys are going to be able to see. I'm so excited for that as well. The other thing is uploading five times a week like I mentioned before and continuing to love myself unconditionally. So like the big thing for me is that like I struggled so hard with loving myself unconditionally and like just like I would pick it myself and one thing I realized is that like when you start to post like on when you see all these people on Instagram like I've gotten so critical of myself and so like the big thing for me is like I want to stop like looking at people and like making judgments but I know that that's like human nature um but I want to stop doing that so another thing that I do want to talk about within this is because there's a lot of things that come with living a healthy lifestyle and one that I feel like a lot of you guys we haven't really I haven't really touched on in my like on my channel or anything is like how to have a healthy lifestyle and have a relationship with that and I'm not someone that can like really say that I've been able to like accomplish that one thing that I struggled with in 2017 that I realized I did not want to take into 2018 was not finding a balance and I want to be able in 2018 I want to be able to find a balance and stop making excuses for having someone in my life and that sounds really weird but when you have a healthy lifestyle I haven't really talked about this on my channel but like balancing someone in your life and like friends or like anything like that like any relationship that you have balancing the two it's really hard because like going to the gym eating well because you want to go out to eat with them 
or you know you want to stay in bed and cuddle with them it's just like really hard and so i've so i put myself on the back burner a lot of the time when i get into a, like a relationship like in 2017 like i was dating this one guy and like anytime he'd come to visit me because he didn't live in my state but he would like come every other weekend to see me it was just one of those situations where I like wouldn't work out the entire time he was there and like I would put my health stuff on the back burner we'd eat out a lot and like I wasn't being my healthy self and like that just wasn't me and so like that's one thing that I want to be able to balance and like I'm going into 2018 with like someone that I'm like building and cultivating something with and I want to be able to not make the excuse because like the, the one of my big struggles and like I'm putting this out on the internet and I I mean like he doesn't watch my videos so it doesn't really matter and I'm like literally in his room right now but he's not here watching me film one of the big things for me is I have these doubts in my head um and they're not like doubts about the other person it's doubts of myself and it's the fact that like I feel like if I get into a relationship with someone and I start to put my energy and effort into them am I going to be able to like give them enough attention because I know I can but also give myself the same amount of attention or more um, and that's like something that's super selfish because 2017 was the year that I was like extremely selfish and I'm totally fine with saying that because you should be selfish it's your life but at the same time like when you find someone that like you really want to be with and you really want to spend your time with like it's just one of those things where you just you want to you want to be with them and you want to spend your time with them and so I, I don't want to like end a relationship that could be so great just because I am afraid that I can't give myself the same amount of time that I could when I was single, you know? And like, obviously you can't give yourself the same amount of time because you're with that person. But that's one thing that I'm going to really work on in 2018 is learning how to balance a relationship with my healthy lifestyle. Um, and then like with that being said, I just want to like thrive. My life motto is to thrive, and I don't talk about it a lot to you guys, but for me, the reason that I picked ASU was because I wanted to thrive, and for 2018, I want to be able to help you guys thrive, I want to thrive, I want to be able to just like show you guys everything that I'm capable of doing, I want to have killer workouts in the gym, I want to go and kick ass, I want to make friends, I want to have like true friends that are girls as well because like I have a lot of guy friends, you know, I just want to continue to just be the best person that I can be. New Year's for me is not like new year, new everything, it's Monday right now and you guys can all make a choice to make a change or stay how you are. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my socials. I love you guys so much. Also, if you guys are wondering, this lip product that I'm wearing right now is Lip Sense. If you guys want, a, like I'll have like my info for that down below, but this lip product literally stayed on all day long after I like made out with this guy, like all day, <laughs> not this guy, the guy that I was telling you guys about earlier, like because I'm here with him, I tested the product and it literally stayed on. So if you guys, you know, are getting kissy kissy on someone and you want your lip product to stay on, this product works so well and it feels really great. But with that being said, um, I'm going to end the video here. I love you guys so much. And I, if you guys have like video ideas you guys want me to do, leave them down below. But I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Kisses from this sickie. Alright guys, that wraps up another video in this series, New Year, Better Me. I hope that you guys enjoy. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my Snapchat, my Instagram, hit me up. Leave a comment down below, and just, you know, sound off. Love you guys. <laughs>